Hi, so maybe you're out there and you invested in Emma Kiba. Your money is with the treasury through your mobile phone and you have faced an unforeseen situation and you need your money back. So you want to sell. I want to help you do the math. How long do you need to wait so that you don't lose any money? How long do you need to wait to break even? We'll be looking at that on this video. This is Rena Hicks and your Money Wise, where we create, grow and preserve wealth. So David, yes. somebody invested. In fact, I look at the least amount because the least amount will take the longest time, right? Yes. I invested 3,000 shillings, for example, and I need to sell. I need my money back. I have to pay something. I want to go on my mobile phone right now. Press star 889 hash to sell. How long will it take me to break even so that I don't lose any money, including costs? All right. Yeah. So talking of costs, uh, during the primary market, there are no costs that go to Emma Kiba other than mobile network costs. So the mobile money costs are actually at a very cheaper rate. Uh, they have actually been highly discounted. Okay. So for example, for 3,000, what you would pay 55 shillings, it's actually 17 shillings through Emma Kiba. So we have a special tariff for Emma Kiba that you can be able to get on the Emma Kiba website. That is www.m-akiba.go.ke. You'll be able to get the tariffs, they're available. But come to the secondary market where you want to sell. Yeah. When you want to sell, we'd have the mobile network charges. Again, that they have been discounted. So for 3,000 shillings or any other amount, the normal charges are 33, uh, 33 shillings. But for, to get that money, it would now only cost you 22 shillings. So again, some discounts from the different mobile network operators. So for, for 3,000, other, other than the mobile network cost, we also have guaranteed liquidity that is uh, this guaranteed exit what does that, that mean guaranteed exit that means, means that any time that you want to get out of the uh, out of emma kiba you actually are going to get out that is better than most fixed deposits where they penalize you so for emma kiba you still have your accrued interest so accrued interest is that every single day your emma kiba mm. money is growing so i really like it because it resonates with money wise you grow your money mm. so in emma kiba your money is really definitely growing so it, we would be able to compete for you every single day how much interest you've earned and by the time you want to exit if it is day day 30 we'll calculate how much you have accrued. actually accrued to you and then we'll give that to you so for you to break even yes for three thousand shillings you'd actually have to wait for 60 days okay so after 60 days the best returns for emma kiba is when you stay with the bond until the very end. But for whatever reason, if you need your money uh, because of an emergency, we actually saw that around Easter. I don't know if it's because of the chicken, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but actually many people sold around that same time, but also people could be giving to their parents. So it could it was a good time. Actually, it's a time for giving. Anyway, so you're actually able to get your money back uh, plus your interest, less the cost, and you'd break even at day 60 that is for 3,000 shillings and if you have invested 10,000 shillings that would be day 30. day 30 so the more you invest actually the less the shorter the shorter the period that you actually break even and if you had 20,000 that 20,000 shillings invested in your makiba that would be on day 20. okay mm -hmm. interesting i want us to just discuss costs for a little while we've understood the mobile network operator costs and that's yes. great that in a transaction where i'd send 3,000 shillings I would have to pay 55 bob that's what you said but yes. if i use it for a makiba the cost is 17 which is awesome however in the secondary market which yes. means now at the time i want to sell if i don't want to wait that long yes. or if i want to buy and i don't want to wait for this secondary phase that's coming in june mm. and i want to buy today there's a cost right? yes that i have to pay to be able to get this bond or to be able to sell my bond yes. what are those costs all right so those costs are what we call statutory fees that statutory fees simply means that they are government. Okay, they are already in law. So they are, they are legal charges which do not change. So where you pay also the regulator, if there's any issue, the regulator would act, you'd actually appeal to the regulator. Okay. Also the NSC where we have the, the trading taking place and the person who is actually uh, keeping your account, that is CDSC, so they would get a cost. So the whole market actually gets a total of 0.035%. Uh, so what we are talking about for 3,000 shillings, that is like one shilling and five cents. One second. 0 0.335 or 0 0.035? For the market fees, it's 0 
five percent, oh. and then for the person who is gu guaranteeing your oh. exit, they also get a zero point three percent. So in total, it's zero point zero. 0.335 percent oh i see so the total cost of market fees would actually be 0. 0.335 percent so the 0. 0.3 is yes. going to the institution that stands ready to buy my bond anytime anywhere any place yes or to sell to me anytime anywhere any place they're called the liquidity provider that's so correct. they will give me cash when i want it they will so for that they're charging 0 0.3 percent 0 0.3 percent for that convenience okay so which we are really saying for three thousand shillings that is like 10 shillings yeah to make sure that you get that convenience and then it is actually going to be during market hours so for selling because that is now secondary what we call secondary trading when you can buy and sell it is actually from nine o'clock to 3 p.m if I want to sell. Yeah, if you want to sell. So that is a window. You can register anytime, 24 hours, seven days a week. But when you want to sell or buy additional uh, emakiba, you'd actually do it between 9 and 3 p.m., oh. which are the market hours. I but see. during the offer period, where you, you, you actually like what the main launch, you, do, you can actually do it 24 hours, seven days a week. Oh, interesting. Yes. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Thank yeah. you so much. I want you to give us your parting shot. Yes. For somebody out there listening, hmm, sounds interesting. Only 10 shillings, that's interesting. What would you tell them? All right, I'll tell you, as you're doing your investment, it would be good for you to know what your returns are and even to calculate that. So on our website, that is www.m-akiba.go.ke, you can get more information. You get a visibility of all the costs that are there, all the benefits that are accrued to you. So a knowledgeable investor is actually an empowered investor and we want you to be empowered as you invest for Emma Kiba. So visit our, our website and also if you have any challenges, be it registering, you can actually call our call center. So the call center is available to you and you can be able to, you can be assisted uh, at it. So the, the code for, the, the number that you need to call is actually 0900889, that is the Emma Kiba code. 000. So that is 0900889000. So there's someone looking out to help you if you have any ch any challenge investing in a Makiba. So register now if you haven't and let us save money, make money, build Kenya. Awesome. Subscribe. This is Rena Hicks and you're on Money Wise.